Oh, hello, insomniacs and uh, content viewers alike. I'm going to open some, some basketball cards. These ones are from 1993-94, Series 1, Skybox Premium. They're premium, I guess, you know, we paid more for them, so we paid a premium, but now uh, they are not worth very much. We kind of got hosed. I mean, I didn't even know that they were owned by Hoops until like a month ago. Um, so nice work uh, keeping that secret from me for uh, for 30 years. They were thrown in free, ignore this $50 price tag. Um, but yeah, can't wait. It is lucky hat time. Alright, usually, you know, man, keep the knife in the locker here, but, uh, in the Jordan locker, but I don't even need it to open this, probably. I don't know. Every box is really about the MJ, so we keep his locker ready and waiting. It's a little office on the go. Stop in. Say what's up. Um... I don't want to knife you, but you're too fancy. <laughs> this is a lot. It looks like chocolates. Are these romantic? David Robinson, does he owe me an apology? What has he done? What's in here? Five exclusive shack talks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are like supposed to be sweet. Head of the class. Okay, I think it's about the shack talks. Well, there's always a bunch of weirdness in here. Let's see. Top six. Yep. Oh, there's an exchange thing. I always get the exchange thing now. The greatest card of the whole deal, but now? Okay. Okay. One out of 36 picks. Oh, one out of 360 ahead of the class exchange. Let's get let's get a bunch of those. Yeah. Oh why? You're not gonna live there. I don't know. The, the other cards I've gotten from the supplier have been pretty pretty goopy, pretty glossy. I wonder if these are glossy cards, if they are. Could be trouble. I'm going to flatten you. It's, I mean, just because you made a nice box doesn't really mean that I have to hold on to every level of it. It is Skybox, after all. Why were you so much more? Some of them, I mean, some of the skyboxes are just nicer, and I don't get it. Everybody loves a flare. Oh, gotta crack them up. That's not good. The old instant rice. A flavor packet, NBA and ABC. Okay. Dink -dink -dink. Yeah, a little Carmelone action. Oh, God. You wouldn't like another man that close to you. I know you. Burp. <laughs> I don't think the person made it as a fan of yours. You look scared of that. So, that's not a bad card. Wow. He's known for being defined, but, you know, he had a year off. Maybe it was early in the season. They kind of played their way into shape back then. Sean Rooks. All right. John Sally, we tried. This is Dale. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be a pack of cards without Kendall Gill. Traded to Supersonics? I like a traded card. I mean, if you had time to do that, maybe you had time to do more, but maybe you didn't. What do I know? Skybox, you could have waited till never. Oakley, it's the first sticky one. Debt, Beth. He's ready for you. Luther Wright. Rookie. And Rick Pierce, NBA on NBC. I like the NBC part. One of the only games I could see growing up. Darn it. Barrick and Mary Dairy. Oh, is there one in every card, in every pack? 
Have I been duped into thinking I'm special? Oh, Sam Perkins. Not looking so smooth there, bro. But, good file by association. Darren Blaylock. What alternative band color sells up to you? There's a traded card, Hersey. How could they give up on you, Hersey? Well, we didn't give up on you. They just really wanted you. Joe D. Pretty fancy schmanch. Pretty glossy. But like every card that doesn't have like a nice border, it's hard to sell. Hard to say what's good and what's bad. Robert Ori. Classic. Crossover step back. <laughs> oh. Nick Anderson. Why can't every Magic player be Shaq? Untraded. Harvey, how could they do you? As always, Mahmoud, Mahmoud Abru Rauf is in a good pile. And sticky as you are. Robinson versus Elijah Mon? That's cool. Okay. Underrated, underrated. Maybe top 10 all time. That's a cool card, but I don't know if, how cool it is. When everything's fancy, it's hard to tell. Oh man, okay, so maybe there is. NBA and NBC, everyone. Storks. Storks. Of course you're in a good pile. Even if even if what happened happened as many times as it happened. <clears throat> when it happened. Reggie Williams. Double Brent Price so far. Neil Robinson. I like it, Dan Marley. Brian Williams, no. Cliffy. Yeah. Oh yeah, getting ready. Sometimes it's white, sometimes it's black, you know? What kind of wrist day is it? Roni? No. Ugh, these are goopy. And this dude. And this dude. I hate the chest bump in the camera. When you gotta bust them up like that, you know. 50-50 chance. Ain't gonna be good enough. They age like chocolates, they look like chocolates. John Williams, no. That's a pretty cool card. That's a rookie card, I like all the balls going across and it's a no look. I always thought he was trying to eat his own face when he talked. Owens, Dale Street, classic Lakers. Morris, Big O. There's Isaiah. Is that just before you went down for good? 93? Did you even make it that long? Scott Williams, no. No. Albert Janey. I like that. Oh, hey, there's an MJ NBA on NBC. That's cool. Um, Albert Janey rookie. That's not that cool. I only have a couple of these, so this is probably overkill, but why underkill when you can overkill, huh? All right, Michael Jordan. 93 NBA playoff performance, yep. I got a bunch of that stuff in the upper deck set, too. I like these better, though, so I'll give you that. One. Just chill in your locker. It's for you. 
Oh, crack, 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 crack. How much nougat is in here? That's a nougat. So it is. Every pack, this is getting less exciting. Don't make me start de sleeving stuff. All right, Dan Marley. Oh, man, that would have been so key. I'd stop collecting it. Hey, there's a Michael Jordan right uh, underneath this, but I always like to play it cool, you know. I would have watched, I would have made a point of watching all these. I had already, and this is card number 23. Stop it. I had already stopped. This is post bust, but man, I would have, I would have carried that in my wallet along with the no money in it. More, I guess, from not buying cards anymore. All right, that's the straight J. Straight, sloppy, toppy. Doesn't look, doesn't look rough though. It's looking like, man, that's the dude. All right. It's a real guy's locker. I like the schedule one, but you know. Harry Nance, you could have done more with that. What's going on? That's a really odd photo. Dale Ellis, yep, yep, you're a good Tyrone. Traded to Cavs, yeah. Weren't you the peeler? Man, Adam Keith, you're always well represented. I just wanted more people to be disappointed with you than everyone else. Do you take that personally? Oh, oh, even you didn't want one. Oh, oh, oh. Is there a way to do that? I don't like the best way. Bam, 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 bam. Bulls, Knicks, Pit Ban. All right. All right. Here's a matchup card: Robinson versus Matumbo. And I do say versus, not verse. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. Corbin, a plastic man. Hey, Ron Harper's just having a good time. Elo was a good choice. He was a better defender than you. You were just bros with MJ. Duckworth. I don't remember you going to Washington. You have a second client yet? Oh, Cedric. Oh, there's a Shaq. That's cool. Straight Shaq. Second year Shaq. And a Draxler. Well. I'm sure that's overkill too, but. You know, Shaq is Shaq. Glide. All right. Okay. Oh. Just got to riffle the cards. Okay, I know one card that's coming out of the sleeve. Mm, beer. I'm not crazy about the photos so far. I haven't seen a lot that I just thought were really cool photos. But. Rock. 
Mugsy, I gotta keep at least one Mugsy every year. Every set. Oh, hey, hey. There's a man right there. Too bad, Muggsy peeled off your balls. Sean Kemp on NBC, that's cool. Oh, Patrick. Getting it from the back, too. Oh, and there's a Barkley. Center stage. Okay. This is a something. Um, I don't know, what have I got? Barkley stuck to Patrick. And this is like, oh well, yeah, it's got a little spot on her. Center stages was like the one in 36. One touch is overkill, but all I got is overkill or underkill. It's got one little smooch mark there. All right, center stage with some listening and stuff. And Trey Charles. Yep, you won the MVP card, CS3. All right, that's something. You can see from here the little smooch mark, but it might come off. It might be the other way. I'm not. I'm not emotionally prepared to check it out right now. But, um, and what were the center stages? What? Oh man, if they were like 1 in 6, I'm an idiot. Shack Talk is 1 in 36. Center stage, uh, 1 in 12 packs. That's not even great. But it is Barkley. I guess I could just bypass without a penny sleeve. What's with the penny sleeve kind of shortage in the world? I mean, somebody was putting in the sleeves this whole time. Oh, I forgot to riffle them. Lloyd Daniels, no, not you Lloyd, Chris Mullen, Eddie's droid, oh it's got like schmutz on it, yep, yeah, and on the back, this is nice, gloss, it's so glossy, don't you love the gloss, James Worthy, <laughs> active, retired, all out of big games, there's a Barkley NBC card. That's cool. Leitner. What is this? All oh, rookie team skybox. Okay. It's got like a cool kind of shimmery effect. All hair team. Although he don't not win in the NBA like he did in college. Wow, you already wrote the book on him. Votes. All right, well, that's cool. So does that mean there's a shack of like of that? Kevin Willis. We'll ponder that. We'll ponder that and hope it's not destroyed because it's probably destroyed, but we'll hope it's not destroyed. With a spoon. Oh yeah, traded to Spurs, cool. It's a cool Rodman. Stuck to Scotty Pippen here. All right, Pippen. Good, 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 good. Little dent in there. Little dent, but oh, that's fine. I remember reading in a SI article this year that said because you were the exact average or median height and weight of the NBA, you were to be the perfect player, but you weren't. Oh, crack, 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 crack. You're a quitter. Bam, 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 bam.
GMBC, I must know. I'm a horse. Sounds like a mitt full of tens, you know? Oh, wow. Full bent already, huh? Can I do that? I do not say it like that. Person. Elo, Humphreys, you can stay together. You can stay together, it's fine. It's fine. Manning, sure. I hadn't given up on you by then. Gugliata. When were you a rookie? Not then. I got room for DC in the good pile. Not you, though. Oh, 3D. Albert Chaney, draft pick card is it drafted by I had a different one DP6 so is that something weird upper deck one I had him wearing an upper deck hat I thought it was cool the first time and that's six times it was just let's move on let's move on from this joke Nick's Hornets that's good news Patrick Ewing awesome that looks like Georgetown Gallup. Let's get it. All right. Not destroyed. I'll take it. Luther Wright. There's another funky draft one. With crap on it. Oh, there's an LJ with your crap on it. You're so good for like two years. Maybe three. But, alright, here's a deke. Rolling some stars at least, just some straight stars of the day. I wouldn't want to see Matumbo in pick and roll defense these days, but yeah, no. I'm sure he would have come up with something. Ben Rice, yeah. One of you, anyway. Jerome Kersey? All right, all right, all right, all right. So, one Jordan that looks fine. One weird old Barkley thing that is embarrassingly overdressed. I mean, one out of 12 packs is not really anything to go crazy about. These TV cards. Some of these top cards are like brutal. I didn't do that. I'm sure I didn't do that. There's a Shaq. Oh, so that's like a Shaq rookie card. We'll see how destroyed it is. Let me get down there because I know it's destroyed and I, I want to I wanna delay the bummer. Skiles. So I have a cool version of Shaq in here that is stuck to something else. And I'm just kind of trying to come to terms with it. Charles Smith. Bump, bump. Okay, okay. Malik Seeley. All right, let's see. It's like the cool rookie one. Or no, maybe it's not that cool. Maybe it's just like the weird photo, like the double wolf thing. Okay. Oh. Gerald Wilkins. Doesn't look like you have much crap on you, so. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It's this, uh. Geely. 
And it's in good shape. Center stage, check. All right. Um, wait, which is better? Probably the center stage, right? I don't know. I think so. Pardon the pain. So what the, uh, the there's probably the Jordan Center stage is the best, and, and maybe this guy, maybe maybe. I mean, I'd be happy if I pulled a good card out of this. I got this box kind of as a throw-in. Well, I must have assigned some kind of value into my into it in my head. Otherwise, maybe I wouldn't have bought the others. Maybe. I'm going to just call that cool. And that's, uh, yeah. Don't, don't worry, I understand how dramatic the one touch is for that. For some reason, I didn't plan on success here. I have to do it up again at the halfway mark. Oh. Cool. All right. Center stages. So we need a Shaq Talks is what we need now, right? And Jordan center stage. And there's some kind of card with a couple of kind of, I don't know, players. That's like, I'm sure it's tough pull, but it's like, didn't age so well. Big O and NVC. You were cool. Here's a Kevin. Oh, Irvin Johnson. <laughs> no. Come on, Chuck. Don't don't get stuck. Okay, you survived fine. And you're Barkley. That's cool. There you have a Mitch Richmond. I'll keep one of you. Same. Oh, if this Muggsy, you're not going to be the one. You still got a bunch of rock on you. This Ewing, how's this Ewing? Better? Better, better. Shoot up back, but it's the other card. Okay. That's a good photo. He's in action. They do these little trailers like the ball's dead or whatever, but, you know, that's cool. Good pile. Reggie, yep. Yeah. You were the you were honestly a villain that I really like to hate. I don't know how you did that. Well done. Light in there. Hard away. Are you gonna make it to the hall or not? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not so cool, I don't think. You have some weird feelings about some other people's feelings. <clears throat> Come on. Is there nougat? How much nougat? Is there a coconut cluster? This is a... They look like chocolates. Kevin Johnson. Robinson Taylor. Oh, cool. Inside stuff card. I always like these kind of things. Side stuff was a big deal. Well, that top card is trash always, eh? Bent down. Doesn't even make sense. Doug West. Slurp. Marshall Onus has like the same pose in every card. Vlade, Vlade. You're cool. KJ, 
Sweet. You must have made all NBA that team that year. You probably did. You made five of them. You're awesome. Kenny Smith. It's another reality where I would have forgotten about you after like 1995 or something. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's Papa. I have a Mahmoud Aruf, but key. Mr. Blackman. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really, I don't really know about the uh, effects. I don't think they're so cool. Oh, you got to do that with the ball skybox. Some of the skybox are just, you know, undervalued. I think they look way cooler than other ones that are worth more that year. But this one, yeah, I don't know. Christie rookie, okay. Fine. Fine. Rex Walters. You guys did the uh, practice jersey thing too. We'll say this. I like. I don't know. I like the population of this a little bit better than the '93, '94 series ones upper deck. It was like hardly any just straight up base cards. It was just a lot of weirdness. Like these guys have their NBA and NBC kind of thing. They had like two different versions of playoff things. It's like give me a break. It's like one straight player card per pack. It's like give me. A, that's not what I'm into it for. Okay. Ewing, he's posting up Ewing. Oh, man, come on, that's chick. That's chick. Come on, come on. That's cool. Admiral. Underrated. Neek. Cool. I like that look. What, another card of me? Checklist. Yeah, buddy. Larry Johnson, NBA, NBC. Sure. Sure. All right. Just for Stockton, yeah, buddy. Good pile. Steve Smith, you're cool. I gotta know. Morning. Huh. Sean Bradley, rookie. I learned some things when you came along. You're the first Mormon I ever heard of. You're the first missionary I ever heard of. Well, that's a Zoe. John Barry, well, yes. Nice. Nice finish, though. Staring into space. Oh, he's about to do the thing where he's like starts off with a scowl and then he talks himself into it. Hey, double zone. All right, are you kissing yourself? Stop kissing yourself. They get graded only like, yeah, they're missing part, but they're together. Okay, double zone. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want an MEC card in every one, especially if it's not. MJ, Stanley Roberts, sure. It's another Elijah Warren versus Matumbo. Hey, there's another Jordan. Jay Mills, yeah, okay, okay. Well, Jordan and Elijah one, and they're not stuck. That's, those are two positive things. Hmm. So I just go straight into one of these like a psycho. Like I did when I was a kid and I didn't know better. 
Guess so, huh? It was nice that you have to worry about the thing. You have to protect it. Hurting the thing you're trying to protect. I ain't gonna bout you down. Let that flow naturally. Alright, Dream. How's the difference between the best player in the league and the second best player in the league? The best player in the league gets a sleeve. And he's got his own locker situation. Second best player. He's just in the better than good pile. Better than excellent. Fine margins. Mr. Royale. And Jerry Porter. Uh, GP. Cool GP. I like the back pictures. There's a lot of pensive poses. Mason. RIP. What a cool player you were. Teammate, sixth man kind of duel, or Darty. I guess you're running DC, the Cavs. Oh, who's in the early games? Cleveland. Yeah, they're good, but Kemp. With the Knicks. All right, there's a Sean Kemp. I don't think I've had one of him before. B. Sean Kemp. Yeah. Yeah! Lonzo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this orange haze. The vapor trails. Dell, always. Nice pit. Spree. That's a good spree. I like the card. Hmm? I think you were saying the word. Word. All right. Half time break. All right. Break time is over. Bam. Cleaned up a little bit. So, there appears to be one of these in every pack. At least all these NBA and NBC cards. A couple of them are cool. Some of the favorite stars. There's a couple checklists here, of course. And there's a game of the week schedule. NBA and NBC, I guess. They were in bed with Hoops slash Skybox that year. Good for them, I suppose. Not a bad haul of ones I liked versus ones that I didn't. At all. There's a deuce pile. That's pretty good. That's that's not bad at all. I'll take it. A couple of these center court dealies. A couple, a couple MJs. One of these, one of these, and one of these. This one's pretty cool. I like that one too. So that must be like the best NBA one. Need a Jordan of these. And uh, we'll be on our way. The Shaq, some nice ones. All right. Sticky brick of cards. All right. Go there. Go there. Pardon me, Mr. Ewing. All right. All right. We're gonna have to be pretty judicious with our uh, with my limited supplies here. Like these are almost too glossy, I feel, to go into just the straight, you know, just to go straight into like a top loader. For some reason, I have top loaders, but not penny sleeves. So yeah, if they weren't so like glossy, I'd just be like, I pop them in there temporarily. But man, I feel like they're gonna get all mushed off because these are kind of live like these are kind of wet market cards ah. all right want me to smell you is that the problem oh 
Oh, smells like Valentine's Day. These guys, is this a co-production with NBC or Ferraro Rocher? Kevin Johnson? Yeah, you like your NBC. That's cool, that's cool. I'm sure that back then being on NBC like got you all NBA stuff and got you all kinds of it was worth way more than it is now. It's worth something now. I'm not like that. KJ, it's a KJ pack. Robinson, okay, Mr. Paxson. Always a ton of Kenny Smiths. You just know just how to rub me the wrong way. All right, so there's Carl Malone. And what's this Christie business? It's kind of weird uh, graphic design there. DP17. Oh, is this some kind of weirdo card? Or oh, it's 917 and 92, so. Could it really be that impressive? Could it be? I think it's the first one like that. Doug Christie. Jim Jackson or Drug 92 draft pick card. So is that it? One in 36 picks. Is that really it? Packs? Is that, is that? And I would have traded that for a lot of stuff. Oh boy. I'm sure that's me. So that's like a cherry card that I'm not even going to put in anything. So it's like, I give homage to it, like it is a cherry pull. One out of 36 is one out of 36. But man, I don't remember anybody thinking he was actually going to be that good, except for him. And what kind of dude grows up and, oh boy. Well, that was tragic. Dropped a mitt full of cards. Might have been on a corner. Might not. Toronto Brandon. Mr. Carr. George Lynch. Oh, why couldn't I drop you, John Paxson? All right. Cautious drum roll. Mark Jackson. That's positive. All right. Come on, floor cards. Please be nothing. Okay, Doug Christie, and you're stuck anyway. So, yeah, so that is like that crazy, an amazing pull. So like this, this has got to be like the, the one, yeah? Yeah. Well, well done. Got you in almost protected territory. Almost. You were really good for the rafts. I got nothing against you, but David Robinson. Always. Tim Perry. Always price, always the different price. Okay. I like these inside stuff ones. I'm sure they're worth nothing, but they always tickle me. I'm tickled. This is me tickled. If you wondered. No LJ. NBA on NBC. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Strawberry cream in this one, maybe? Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Stock done. Donna, I don't understand. Did you have the same agent or something? I'm sure you're cool to hang out with, but let's be serious. She was a huge star. Man, you were up very high. Very high.
Schmitz. I don't, yeah, I don't know about all this business. So it's like I don't even know which side is which. Checklist. Morning. Man, teal just took over the world. It's like a brand new color for everybody. It's like, you guys and Mighty Ducks, it's like a whole new thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like a blue, it's like a green, it's still. Green? Yeah, buddy. Donald? Nope. Tardy Polka. Did you ever think that he's the one who cast a spell on me? That's his fault. I keep saying that. GP? Alright, P. Ooh. Rex Walters. Ooh, rookie. Alright. Another NBC. Okay, I won't fight you. I won't fight you. I won't. Blue, deep, camp, Sean Camp, you were awesome. Alfonso, Lionel Simmons, yeah. Long line of good Simmons is this. Dell, you're in the running for Dell of the pack. Morning versus Ewing. Nope. Never got never quite got there, did you though? Quite good. Big oh. Oh, 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 oh. Reggie. Yeah, buddy. Brad. I don't know. It's like Your enemies were right. Christian Leitner. Jim Hardaway. Slap. Bowie. Thomas Adams. Oh, you were good. All right, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. The lame beer. He's on the back of you. Horus. There's some better horses. Sean Bradley. Yeah. So Shaq Talks, I think, is the one. Shaq Talks is what we're looking for. What? I think Jordan and Shaq, maybe some more, um, Maybe some Ewings. The more Ewings, the better. I wonder if there's a Ewing center stage dealy. Yep. I'm not crazy about that design. Shaq and Ewing. It's a cool one. It's cool. I like those ones. Mr. Mullen. Lloyd Daniels. I'm sorry I tried to get more out of you. Yeah, I'm getting real sick of that. Alright, that's cool. That's the Georgetown Gallup one again. 
There's a TV schedule one again. I like that one. I have to cross-reference that with my schedule in high school. 394, that's grade 11. That's a hockey, that's a basketball. That's good times. And lots of Sunday afternoon basketball. LJ, every time, every time. Sean Elliott. Yeah, it can't be a good thing if I still don't know which is the front. What a wasted space. Okay. Just Ellie. No. What's your moment? It's a Ricky Pierce moment. Let's we'll see if we got that set. It can chill in the good pile until we sort that out. Until we get to the bottom of that. And then, uh, I'm not saying you're definitely not going to stay in the good pile, but that part of the table just can't support so much weight, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it looks like it can hold as much as the other, but we really need to find a way to make that good pile a little bit smaller. I mean, there's, just, I mean, there's so many Hall of Famers, right? I mean, like, what would you do? You know what I mean? Checklist. Or an Anderson brand. All right. Oh boy. Not the best is some facts. I take a moment. So far, first half has crushed it. We'll see. We got what? Uh, seven packs left. Seven out of 36. Okay, 18%. Flippy, every time, every time, every every year, every set. Clippy, Uncle Clippy, every time. Johnny Newman. All right, so here is a different Sean Bradley rookie. I'm a walking target. Everybody daydreaming about trying to ruin you. Blocked a lot of shots though, dude. You did your job. Woo! Oh, jeez. Rowdy, rowdy. Oh, I like those warm-ups. That's a cool warm-up. How did I not notice that before? You know what? I would like to pull some heat. Okay, well, all right, there's a J. I'm not stuck to anything. Tribute, Clark. All right. First, Michael Jordan card of the second half. Am I the worst on YouTube? Maybe. I'd doing that. I 
I've been outsmarted by far more penny sleeves than I'd really like to talk about, but I feel like it must be acknowledged because it's been witnessed. It's been witnessed. All right, last two from that pack. Okay, cool. LJ center stage. All right, so that's a third center stage card. All right, the Shaq and the Chuck. Is that the last penny sleeve? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, we're gonna hold out. We're gonna hold out. It's not too windy outside. I don't think I don't think that you're cool. I think your spackly specialness, your iridescence in text is really kind of, has really informed Panini's decisions lately. I have their, you know, decolletage kind of stuff. That's the, oh, who's the right? I don't know, they have like pink and spackled and this and that old. Okay, there's another Jordan, Kim Olajuwon. It's a dream. Okay. Okay. And it's okay. It's okay. So. Let's hope uh, we run into a situation where I'm worried about that okay we can skip that extra step like i might have done last time but i didn't i won't apologize even if i was wrong all right so that was pretty good was that two j's in one pack two jordans i guess i'll have to rewind it sometime oh somebody's got to watch this it's really you know I got some folks in my life who struggle with insomnia and they happen to like basketball. And they're old like me. Recommend it. There's no ads. No one's ever going to buy an ad. You never wake up. You're never like, oh my god, I gotta buy something. Ron Harper. So, what's up with the packs on this side? Why are they better? John Dawkins. The top card of all the, the last ones was all Pippin. You're probably the number two. Morning versus Shaq. There's another of those cards. Yeah, the top card of the whole last side, like it was all both top corners dinged. All right. There's a Shaq. How are you? How are you? Oh, that's pretty good. Clean of the bane. All right. I'm holding out, though. I want to shock talks. I do. I want it. Clyde, you're there. You're there. You're in, Clyde. Not to be so insecure all the time. I gotta check the back to see if it's a Jordan one. It looks like it's kind of valued the same as a regular one. Ish. I think like 10% or something like that. Not that I will ever get around to getting anything graded. It's not like this will be worth getting graded. But. So part of the fun. We'll go into the most beautiful Muggsy contest. Hey, there's a Ewing. Some uh, Muggsy on you. All right, Reggie. All right, cool, cool. That's a few All-Stars in a row there anyway. Sorry, Mr. Doherty. Okay. So we need Shaq Talks, 
center stage, Maka Jordan. He's worthy. No, no. There's the Barkley. That's cool. That's probably what? It's probably what? The. Is the Barkley worth more than the Pippin? Back then, that would have been the easiest decision ever, but Bark. But. Scotty Pippin, a lot of people speak of the devil. Far more highly regarded now. Except for that one Sports Illustrated article. That was crazy. Rod. Oh, hey, with Ewing on it too? Shaq talks with Ewing on it? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, 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 oh Okay, okay, okay. If I wanted one Shaq Talks, it would be the one with Patrick Ewing on it. How are all my one touches scratched on the outside? They make my cards look scratched. Up. Important that I make a gigantic meal of this. You give me a silver card, I'm gonna wig out a little bit. Shack talk, defense. Well, that was short lived. I love playing defense. Oh my god. It's an ultimate challenge because there are so many great offensive players in the NBA. Aside from winning an NBA championship, one of my goals is to be NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Nope, Shack talks. Shack don't watch on that one. All right, sweet. Is there anything is there anything more that I wanted? Oh yeah, one of the center courts. Yep, but the Shaq talks with Patrick Ewing on it. Is that a weird corner? Those inserts go, that's pretty good. Usually they're all meshed up. Alright. So what did I do? Oh, that was sitting there the whole time. Okay, good. Okay. That was the second last pack. How's that for drama? Sorry if I woke you up. You don't sign up for 93-94 Skybox Series 1. For that kind of level of excitement. But, you know what, Jay Humphreys and Elo, you did the same thing before. It was, it was you too. Both of is. Both of is. I left you. I says to myself, I says, you stay. And it was you. What else was in this pack? Was there... Oh, boy. Would have been nice for a repeat of a great one. Oh, Gugliata? You rookie? Probably not. You probably had one of those, like... I was a rookie last year cards. D Scott. Sorry, 3D. I already framed 16 of those. It's not that you're going in the bad pile. It's just, you know. George Lynch, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a break and then uh and then I'll do a summary. Woo. All right. Recap time. Before the sun goes down. All right. This is Deuce Piles. This is a second out Deuce Piles. Again, it's been like a half a dozen of the, the first round Deuce Piles. That's not too bad. All right. The piles I like. Yeah. Represented. Not bad. Some cool cards in this set. There's the NBC one. There's one in each of those. There's the Jordans all right. And, of course, there's some Ewing action. And then there's these kind of... Uh, Showdown cars and stuff, you know. Some shack action. There's a few of those. 
This is some, you know, one in 36 pack short print um, Christie. It looks absolutely perfect. Uh, good for Doug Christie. Seattle Supersonics. You refuse to play for your own town team, you weirdo. Here's another rookie collection. I wanted a Shaq, obviously, but, you know, here's Leitner. Here's Leitner. A couple of straight little Shaq in your Shaq. It's not a great card, though. A lot of wasted space on these. Not the worst set. Not the best. Special things. We got these center, what are they called? Center stage. We wanted Jordan, obviously. We got a Shaq, though. That's cool. LJ. Ran out of stuff and a Barkley. That's cool. Ran out of the holders, but, you know, you got that. And then, checking Mr. Jordan's locker, we got one, two, three. Three base MJs. Again, that's a weird white nothing. A lot of void. And these NBC, yeah, and NBC cards are better. Like, oh, yeah, that's a cooler card, so... Five of those in Mr. Jordan's locker, and uh, while I didn't get ahead of the class thing, I did get one Shaq Talks. If there's one of Jordan, I'm sure it's a lot better, but um, there it is with the man, Patrick Ewing. So, not bad. I got the one Shaq Talks. That would have been cool. I got this. It would have been cool. You know, I would like to have a Jordan in this version, but man, no complaints, and you know, a Shaq of the other versions, but... You know, for a free box, sky box, a little goopy, a little sticky, some damage done. But uh, you know what? Good times also were had. All right. Peace.